I'm from India and uh, I was uh, hoping to uh, go to the United States for my PhD. I had my bachelor's in microbiology and that is a big like change of subject from microbiology to a PhD in neuroscience. But uh, being an international student, I did not uh, like have any knowledge of the PhD pro- application process in the United States. So that's where you came in. And I'm really so glad I met you. When I signed up for the fearless grad program, I was actually pursuing my uh, master's. Like it was an integrated PhD program. So master's plus PhD integrated in an Indian institution. But I was not really happy with my lab and my professor. Like we had our differences and I felt like it would be like, no, it would be best for me to leave that institute after my master's but and i like i always wanted to do my phd from the united states because like uh, i uh, because it it was kind of my dream but i did not know the application process and i was even skeptical uh, that if i should continue in my uh, previous institute or if I should even take the leap of faith I wasn't sure so it took me a lot of courage and in this regard you really helped me because I remember there have been times when I had emailed you saying that I'm not sure if I really want to go forward with this because the application process is is all new to me and I don't know if I'll succeed I wasn't confident at all and I was even ready to keep continuing in my previous institution with my PhD. So, but like after like going through all the procedure and after all your guidance, like I I got into my dream program in my dream college and um like so it's kind of my dream come true. Uh, during the program, you also guided me about how to email the admin staff, the graduate committee, like the recruiting, not the recruiting committee, I mean, people in the administration about requirements of the program, etc. And I honestly speaking, I'm a little shy and introverted regarding even normal communication. So like I uh, like I used to think 10 times about before sending out an email and I was not at all confident about my uh, like how I should phrase emails or how I should even reach out like like I did not have any confidence at all but once I started like trusting the process like trusting wh- how you are guiding your process I became even a very confident man- I mean person in general because I was always emailing people I was always setting up meetings with them I was having conversations with them over calls zoom calls video calls and like I I feel uh, during the process I became uh, like more confident as a person in general and it was honestly a leap of faith for me because um, I uh, like uh, your stories actually used to inspire me the short posts the, the short writings you used to send us over email or the short posts like um, how uh, like how we should actually pursue our dreams and we shouldn't settle for something less just because we don't have the like courage and those really actually helped me a lot because as you said I was really hesitant I did not know if I I could even succeed because um, as I had even mentioned to you like uh, my professor at my previous lab he had even said he won't provide me with a recommendation so that was a big red flag because a recommendation from the professor under whom I have done my master's thesis is of utmost importance. So, and uh, I remember talking to you about it, like, what should I do? Like, should I drop out of this application process? Because what if I don't get accepted because uh, he's not recommending me? So there have been a lot of obstacles, but I really took a big leap of faith and your stories have always inspired me. I have uh, like I got offers from uh, three programs uh, and uh, uh, like uh, three programs and 
overall four departments so because uh, at one university i had applied to two departments so i finally accepted the offer from texas a&m university and the department is college of medicine and so uh, it had really always been my dream to pursue um translational clinical work so this department at the college of medicine is really going to help me because uh, there is an md phd program there and i am looking forward to connect with a lot of doctors there as well with whom i might set up collaborations during my phd project so in that regard this is actually my dream department in my dream university one of the things that really helped me was how you guided me regarding networking with professors because first of all english is not my first language and i was always very hesitant about how i should compose my email how long they should be how short they should be how if i should include my cv or not i, I had a thousand and one questions about reaching out to professors like very vague and stupid questions but they were extremely big for me uh so like um the the composing my emails that was also a, like a process because initially my emails were like crude and i did not get any replies at all and then i showed you like this is what i'm writing and then you corrected me like you should shorten it or whatever and then i started getting replies and my i started feeling motivated like more motivated when i got replies and uh, i understood the importance of this networking before the uh, formal application process because two of the universities from which i have gotten uh, offers were uh, the ones where i actually had informal interviews with the professors and at this university like texas a&m university this professor was 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 on an, on the graduate recruiting committee of both the departments and he like told me that apply to two departments so, so that and i am on the committee of both the departments so it will help you with your application process and he even told me how to write my sop how to include uh, about my grades and gpa in my sop he guided me on that as well so this is where i understood the importance of networking i felt i wasn't enough i wasn't good enough like before like talking to you or because i remember the first time i gave you my cv or resume i think i gave you my resume and uh, i remember the for, uh, asking you like that was my first question that do you think i'm even good enough like do you think i even stand a chance because i didn't have a lot of confidence in myself and um, but then you said that uh, like we can do it like there is a chance we can do it so i i i had this feeling that i wasn't good enough and when during the initial days professors weren't replying i was like should i just drop out like will this even work so it was a journey like step by step it was really a journey but uh, my initial demo session with you like really helped me because uh i i just came across your program from an instagram ad and like i was always uh, searching for like some help regarding the application process like searching twitter reddit instagram anywhere i could even googling and uh, like i came across your uh, page and from an instagram ad and then i remember just signing up for a demo session like like what's there to lose but after my the demo session with you i really felt confident i felt like i felt like i i really could connect with what you were saying and i felt that you could also understand like like where my problem was and like it wasn't just a recorded lecture or something like you were actually trying to understand what my fears were what my Uh, in which areas i needed to work to improve and that that those things really uh, like uh, encouraged me to invest in this about the finances it was like um uh, the masters program which i was doing it was i, I was receiving a scholarship because of 
my academic qualifications so it was all my savings that i used up during this process yes of course of course like i now have a full i won't say full but overall an understanding of the application process and uh, like uh, uh i really understand that uh, research experience and networking are two of the most important aspects in uh, that help that help any candidate to uh, secure their dream program and um, i i i got to know this first time from my interactions with the professors as well as talking to you over multiple sessions and this has been really helpful so maybe like this leap of faith which i took i would encourage like everyone else to like to not give up on their dreams because like i had this dream of going to the us for my studies but i was in a really difficult situation and i was not even uh, confident in myself and this leap of faith was what like i took a risk it wasn't even a calculated risk. i i just took a risk and and then there's a saying that there's no gain without any risk so like i would encourage everyone like to not give up on themselves to not give up on their dreams and to like believe in themselves that they can do it mm-hmm.